On display on the White House grounds, products from all 50 U.S. states, ranging from yachts made in Maine to Hawaiian rum. Even Marine One on static display to tout Connecticut manufacturing. President Donald Trump hopped into a Wisconsin fire truck. <laughs> Minutes later, Trump signed a proclamation declaring July 17th as Made in America Day, saying the hard part now is done because his administration has removed regulatory barriers. For decades, Washington has allowed other nations to wipe out millions of American jobs through unfair trade practices. Wait till you see what's up for you. You are going to be so happy. Democrats are calling Trump's Made in America Week the epitome of hypocrisy, saying the president, instead of lecturing, should try setting an example. If you're going to preach something, start at home. Start at home. Trump shirts and ties, where are they made? China. Trump furniture, where is it made? Turkey. The clothing line carrying daughter Ivanka Trump's name is also made overseas, a fact repeatedly raised by reporters at Monday's off-camera White House press briefing. Some products um, may not have the scalability or the demand here in this country, uh, but like so many other things, that if, if that demand is if there's enough of a demand, then hopefully someone builds a factory and does it. Trade analysts say it is not that simple because we are now in an interconnected well, global economy. The, the factory floor has broken through its walls uh, and now spans borders and oceans. So things, a final good on an American retail store shelf uh, tends to have components value added in five, six, ten countries. White House policymakers are undeterred by such arguments pursuing a protectionist agenda. It seeks to reverse decades of work by administrations of both parties in sync with major U.S. business groups to promote international commerce and trade agreements. Steve Herman, VOA News, at the White House.